Hey, uh, Sonia, you wanna go get some dinner later or something? Maybe go see a movie? Aw, oh, Sub-Zero, you're so nice, but we're just friends. Friendship. Just friends? <laughs> <laughs> Get over her! What's up fellow collectors, today I'm talking about the Sonya Blade action figure from the Mortal Kombat Infinite Concepts line and this is a line that was released back in uh, 2000, 1999 or 2000 and uh, very very awesome figure and even though it's a little bit more old school, I really do enjoy this figure. And it's kind of more based on the classic designs of the figures. So very, very cool. I'm more of a fan of the classic Mortal Kombat's myself anyways. So that's pretty nice. Um, going over her articulation is actually very, very nice. You got a nice uh, hinge, or not hinge, but a, the head's basically on a ball. But you can't really look up and down at all. It's more just a side-to-side -side type motion. You get a 360 motion you could do at the upper arm, even though the hair kind of gets in the way a little bit. You got a hinge at the elbow, and then you got a nice, you know, the wrists are on uh, balls, the rotating balls there, so that's nice. You got uh, some waist articulation, just a little bit. You can go ahead and twist the waist. Um, there is a little bit of rubber from this band around her waist that is kind of limiting the articulation just a little bit. The legs can actually kick back pretty far. really like the way that that looks. I wish they kind of kicked out more sideways. It would make for a better kicking style of motion. But, uh, you know, whatever. You got a hinge at the knee there. Then you got a hinge at the ankle as well, which is pretty stiff, you know. Then you also got these uh, pivoting joints down by her foot that kind of move left and right. Which is nice, you know, I've actually never seen figures with articulation on the feet like that, so that's pretty cool. Um, the only one complaint I have with the figure is actually, there. well, there's a few complaints, but the one right here, the uh, foot joint's a little bit damaged. Um, I did buy this whole lot from a collector on eBay, you know, all the Infinite Concepts figures, and he did let me know that, hey, the foot joint on this one's messed up, so I was pretty much anticipating it to be messed up. But luckily, you can still stand her up pretty easily and it's really not that hard to get them to stand up I really do like that you know the other thing I don't like about this figure is the sculpts for the figures they all have like kind of this bent bending back type motion to where they do become a little bit top heavy if you try and get them in more dynamic poses where they're not just standing straight up and down you know these just because of that sculpt there and they all have the same sculpt all the female figures all the male figures you know so if you try and get them you know any sort of uh, cool looking pose, they're probably going to just fall right over. So it's kind of a bummer. But it is nice having a Sonya action figure because we have not seen pretty much barely anything Sonya wise besides like really old school um, Hasbro stuff. You know, Hasbro action figures, like the little three inch kind of G.I. Joe type figures. And I think there was a Palisades Sonya as well. And that's, you know, nowhere near the. Uh, you know, construction of this figure. This is definitely the best Sonya figure out there right now. And it's a shame because I'd love to see more female uh, characters from the game. I think like, female characters kind of get pushed aside a little bit for all the different male characters in the game. And I think the female characters, they're pretty awesome too. You know, Melina's probably my favorite. But uh, yeah, Sonya looks pretty cool. Let's talk about some of the details here. I think they really did a great job with her face sculpt here. Yeah, I really do like the, you know, even they put the uh, makeup and eyeshadow on, some lipstick on her. You know, it's really, really cool when you have the headband up there and the hair. The hair, I think, is actually done pretty well, even though it's just pretty much rubber. But I do think it looks really good. And, uh, you know, even the pupils and the eyes and everything, they did a really good job sculpting, detailing, and painting everything on here. I really do appreciate that. Looks pretty good. You know, she's got a lot of great sculpt around her. Very uh, female and woman-like. You know, it's a good proportion to the male characters here. Here's like Liu Kang, and uh, I think they look really good in proportion to each other, you know, from a male-to-female perspective. Sometimes you get uh, males and females of a certain particular lines, and there's really, you can't really tell a difference between the two. Um, the, you know, Infinite Concepts did a great job of really just putting these guys into scale with each other, and it looks natural. It doesn't look weird, you know? So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to talk about with these figures, but they are really, really awesome, and I'd highly recommend picking them up if you could find them or track them down on eBay. I know uh, some of the prices on these guys are, like, ridiculous, but if you keep searching, you're going to find something, and that's what I did. You know, I kept searching, kept looking for something 
on eBay and eventually I found a whole lot of them just like put up like five minutes after I searched for them and I just picked them up right then. It was such a great deal that I could not pass it up. And uh, yeah, now here they are and I'm doing reviews on them. So make sure you uh, check out my channel guys. I got a ton of Mortal Kombat reviews on there. I also review other figures as well like uh, <laughs> Halo stuff, Mega Bloks, um, well I can't even think of any of the stuff I review now. Uh, Star Wars, Walking Dead, all that good stuff. I also do blind bags and unboxing haul videos. So make sure you subscribe because I come out with new videos every week. And I will see you guys all in my next review. And thank you all for watching.